it's unprecedented to be honest Claudia Eliza we've had a lot of firsts this week you just talked about the 122 miles an hour the first time we've seen a rare red warning issued across the southeast of England and unbelievable really no one really wasn't touched by Eunice in some shape or form in, in, in some places in a devastating way a very very powerful storm why was this so powerful? Well, currently the jet stream is over us and a jet stream is what fuels these. It's so just fundamentally devastating for so many people because it came in from the southwest, developing all the time. We call it a weather bomb. The winds just got stronger and stronger through the time people were starting to travel. And then it tracked from the southwest towards the northeast, covering much of the country. So, yes, all in all, it's been quite a day, a historic day, but not a great one. No, not at all. Uh, so Absolutely. Well, at the moment, we're seeing some very gusty winds across Yorkshire, eastern parts of England, down towards East Anglia, some snow showers across Northern Ireland and Scotland still. So still some really tr tre treacherous driving conditions on the roads. Obviously, we've seen about all, seen all of those cancellations and we're not over it yet. Yes, things will calm down slightly as we head through the next few hours, but there's weather warnings in the south tomorrow. We could even see some snow across the Midlands, and then it turns stormy yet again across the north and the west from Sunday into Monday. And next week is looking unsettled yet again. So hang on to your hats. Eventually things will calm down. Oh, what a treat. Another uh, Claire Nazir, uh, another Claire Naz Nazir forecast for us. But, but before you go, Claire, I just want to also well, obviously, we're going to look at the data and the analysis of this storm and understand if there's a climate change fingerprint. It's called an attribution study. However, climate trends over the last few years have shown that we are seeing more storminess in terms of frequency of these storms and also the amount of rain we're seeing across the UK, not only in the winter, but also in the summer. At the moment, there's less evidence to suggest, suggest that the strongest gusts are associated with climate change, and that's research which is ongoing. But certainly, yes, expect more of this. And after this week, it's just something we don't really want to get used to, do we? We really do not. Claire Nazir, it's always so good talking to you. Thank you.